This is the demonstration of installation of Smart Power Sliding Gate Motor SPACM ID 2500B model. This model can take load of 1400-1500 kilo of the gate. You can see this is the mechanical limit switch model. These are the mechanical limit switch and this is the actual mechanical limit switch. This is the base plate coming with the motor. You can also choose the magnetic model where this model, this will be instead of this mechanical limit switch, there will be magnet, but we prefer this mechanical limit switch model. First, I will show you the wiring diagram. These are the three white, red and black are the motor wire L1, common and L2. This one yellow one is the earthing. The red one is the AC input, live input. The black one is the neutral input these two wire are going to the alarm light the black one is the neutral red one is the 230 volt ac output this is going to this alarm light you can see this is the 230 volt going to the alarm light now these two wire also black and red are the 24 volt power supply for the photo sensor you can see this is the photo sensor this is the Black and red is the 24 volt power supply. This black and red is the 24 volt power supply. And these two, yellow and white, the white is the common and yellow is the photo cell signal. This is the yellow and white. White is connected to the NC, yellow is connected to the common. In this model motor, we use the photo cell in the NC format, not the NO format. NO format is open. Now you can see these are the three wire white red and black these are for the limit switch of the motor this is for the l1 motor and the black one is for the l2 motor and the red is the common now when we come to the up down stop switch this is the up down stop switch you can see this is the up down stop switch yellow is open green is close red is stop common is blue here you can see the yellow is open green is closed red is stop red is stop and the blue is common now i will show you the operation when i press the open you can see the motor is opening and the alarm light is blinking and when we touch the limit switch it will stop when we press the again we press the open it will not work when I press the close button, the gate is closing. If I bring my hand in between, you will see the photo sensor will stop and the gate will start moving in the reverse direction. Then I again press stop. I again press close. It is closing. Now if I touch the limit switch, the gate will close. So this is the normal operation of the gate motor. In the part one of the video, in the advanced setting of the PCB, first I will show you this jumper. This jumper should be kept in the on position always so that the direction of the motor can be changed from left to right. Now if it is in the on condition, the wire is L1 is the first one and the L3 is the third one, black one. If we change the direction from left to right, then this wire white and black to be reversed. L1 will become L2 and L2 will become L1. Similarly, the motor limit switch, this white and black will also be reverse this will go to the black one the black one will go to the white one now second one i will show you the two number of potentiometer for setting the auto rebound technology how much force is required to get the motor back this function is required when the suppose the photo cell fails to work then the gate is closing and it can hit the car and can crush the car also but if you set the auto rebound technology if you set the force, suppose you make it low, then after finding the little obstacle, even on a load on the rail line, the gate will go back. Or if it touches the car, it will scratch the car, but it will not damage the car. So by this setting the VR2, you can set the force of the auto rebound technology. VR1 setting, we need to check again. Then I show you the dip switch. These are the dip switch. S1, S2, S3, S4. S1, when we make S1 on, 
the auto closing function is on normally the auto closing function is off if we make the s2 on then we can change the remote control switch operation <coughs> if s3 is on then we have got the soft start soft stop is on and if s4 is on then the soft start is on in addition to that we have got p1 p2 p3 three number of press key this one is s1 not not p3 this one is s1 this one is for coding the remote control with the motor this i will show you that the last this one is p1 now there is a beautiful function in this motor when we start the motor it will open and reach the limit switch and stop when we close it will reach the limit switch and stop but if we set the p1 function then it will first time for 3 second it will go to the open condition and remember the open condition and next time even if you remove the limit switch lever it it is not required it will sense that position and come back similarly for the close condition it will go to that position and not required the limit switch lever again so this we will show you first i will show you the p2 function p2 function is for the auto closing function now the auto closing function is not working so i make this one on and i press this for 3 second 1 2 3 and thus this learning con learning led is on and i set the closing auto closing time delay suppose 8 second it is at to 12 sec 12 second we have set now if i show you the operation if i open the gate and i stop the gate you will see after 10 second it will auto close you see it has been auto closing so auto closing function has been set after that i will show you the beautiful function of the p1 press switch i press switch p1 1 2 3 and you can see the gate is operating in the open condition gate is operating for 8 10 say say 12 second i make it open so after that the auto closing is working and then i set the auto closing suppose this is the close condition now i switch off now i switch off the motor and power on the motor again now just keep this on and i press the open you can see the gate is now opening you see how much time it is opening 8 second 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 second it has work after that it will auto close suppose 8 to 10 second delay so 15 second it has taken to open there was no limit switch was used it has remembered its last position you see 29 second it is coming back it is closing now and after a pre defined time it will close you can see 43 second so around 14 15 second it has taken to open 10 second it has taken for auto closing and another 14 15 second for closing so in 43 second one cycle was completed even the limit switch lever was not there this is a beautiful safety feature of this motor sometime the limit switch lever are broken so it will help when we make the dip switch s3 is on then the soft stop fun function will work when we make the dip switch s4 is on then the soft start feature will work and this potentiometer vr1 is the adjust slowing power when i make it full then the soft start stop speed will be very low i show you i switch it on and i start the 
motor operation the timer is 00 you see now it is opening it is opening say so it is taking the opening time of 8 second then it is stop stop is working you can see stop stop is working and then at 18 second is totally closed totally open gate is totally open after 10 second it will reverse you can see 20 second it was stop at 30 second it will reverse you can see it is it will reverse now it is reversing from 30 second for another 8 to 9 second it will take to close down yes now 40 second close down now already stop, soft stop is working you can see the soft stop is working so it is taking total complete around 49 to 50 seconds for working now if i make this completely anti clockwise power off and power on now this vr1 is anti clockwise i start this feature again press open press open now we see the gate is working 8 second 9 second 10 second now it is soft stop is working but it is reasonable speed not very low speed there is no jerking sound okay so this is taking 20 second to open down and after 10 second it will be reversing again you can see the soft stop is working but not very slow 32 33 so after 10 second it is reversing back and at 41 42 you can see the speed is not very small and it, there is no jerking sound so this one is much better so it's better now total time taken is 52 second so it's better to keep this neither fully clockwise nor fully anti-clockwise keep it at the middle so the soft stop will be working but not too small and there will be no jerking sound thank you now you can see the gate is working i make it stop i make the power fail and now go to the manual mode when the, there is a power fail i i make it to the manual mode release the go to anti-clockwise there is a sound and it has been released now if i make the power on and press the button you can see the motor is working inside but the lever is not working i press stop if i move by hand you can see it is released it is working by hand i press stop and i make it on again please rotate clockwise yes now you can see the gear is locked if i make power on and operate it is working so during power fail what we have to do during power fail we have to insert this manual key clutch release key here and rotate it anti-clockwise like this and it will be working in the load shedding mode thank you for the successful demonstration